Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video, and today we have a big one. Today is Wednesday, and in my household, it is called Wild Wednesdays. And my, I even told my wife, I said, babe, as soon as I read this article, we got to put a hold on Wild Wednesdays because Giant Group's sales is down 7% year to date due to conservative buying. She was upset. I was not. I'm thrilled for this article. But anyways, we got to get into this because Giant is a massive juggernaut, and 7%, I know, it doesn't seem like a lot. But definitely the conservative buying part is uh, pretty familiar to all of us in the cycling industry. And I really do think it's going to be a reoccurring theme throughout for a long time. I don't think I don't think the I don't think it's uh, it's slowed down at all. Right now, it's my season, which I'm very happy for. And we're definitely seeing a pickup of customers. But even during this entire time of the pandemic and my job, guys, I don't think you understand this for a YouTuber. My job is to make videos on new bikes coming out. When the new Propeller launched, when the new Giant TCR launched, I called up every Giant bicycle store in my area to go ahead and find inventory for these bicycles. They didn't stock them. They didn't order them. I couldn't find them. I think I, th I searched a 300-mile radius. I would drive to these places to do videos on these bikes to get them for my channels, to get views, whatever it was. But I cannot get a Giant TCR, the new one with integrated cables, in my area that has one in stock. So that's what they mean by conservative buying. I think so many stores are flooded with inventory. As we all know, my YouTube feed is flooded with car market videos saying that their inventory is flooded. There's only a certain amount of things buying and selling. Like I said, right now it's my season, so I'm very thankful for this. We're starting to get busy. But that summertime for us was slow, absolutely slow. And what do they mean by conservative buying? We weren't buying any kind of new inventory because we had so much old inventory that we were paid up on, dude on, that we owed money for, that was sitting there, that we're not going ahead and buying new inventory. So what's that doing? That's stopping orders for manufacturers. That's stopping orders for distributors. If they can't sell us new product, they're not selling consumers new product. They're not selling uh, distributors new product. Orders are slowing down, and that's where that sales from manufacturers to distributors to retailers is going down, and that's why this conservative buying. And I said that that trend is falling suit all the way through. Basically, seven percent year to date due to conservative buying. Seven percent is obviously you never want to be down for sales. Obviously, over you want to, you usually aim for like a ten percent growth for goals. It's a number you can go off of for growth. Obviously, you want to do better than that, but that's a good number to aim for. But you don't want to be down. No one wants to be down. But basically, Giant Group sales first nine months of physical year was down seven point one percent compared to the same period last year. The company said that while the bike inventory levels continue to decline in Europe and North America. Order placement by the company's OE and retail customers is conservative. The company again pointed to sales in China as a high point, however. So they're basically saying that in the expansion or the the exposure to China sales, uh, that that is kind of carrying, or not carrying, but that is kind of doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the new exposure of the sales and products and brands over there. Um, and that over here in the Western side of things, it's definitely slowed down with conservative buying. And again, there's no demand. We always talk about this. Everyone says the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if it's bicycles, if it's cars, if it's an outdoors product. If there's no demand, supply and demand is real. If there's no demand, then there's going to be no purchasing for these products. They later went on to go ahead and mention that they had a huge growth in China, talking about that they're definitely excited for the expansion in that area and that they think that that would definitely help it uh, make their sales grow in that area as well. Uh, and they're looking for a long-term market potential in that China market. China also in September just acquired Stages Cycling. I, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a video on them. Stages Cycling went bankrupt recently, uh, filed Chapter 11, I believe, because of the fact of that they couldn't afford their product and they just had bad, basically they just couldn't afford anything. They just went under and they had a lot of debt. So Giant came in and bought them and took some people from the company and also now they own them so you're going to see a, probably a lot of their oem bikes come stocked with power meters for them but really it's the acquisition for uh cycling equipment uh indoor cycling equipment as well gyms uh franchise gyms and i think like also like hospitality and stuff like that too so it's not just for cycling but in terms of like workout equipment and stuff like that and we've seen their stages bicycle as well I don't know how much of an effect it's going to do for their sales, but I think definitely for OEM spec stuff, they were stocking their 
uh, stuff with stock giant power meters. So maybe that will be able to go ahead and make the prices a little bit more at, uh, consumer friendly. I mean, the giant has always been known to be the most competitive price point in terms of all of the big three of giant Trek and specialized, but maybe even now they'll be able to get a cheaper price point for the power meters as well. Filings with uh, Taipei stock exchange show that Giants revenue trend continued through the 10th month of the year with sales down 6.5% in the month, year over year, year to sales, um, year to date sales were down 7.06% through October. And Giants, like I said, is a massive company. We had Giant 20, 10, 15 years ago, whatever it was in our store. We had Giant Trek and Specialized all at the same time. Giant was one of the big juggernauts to the point of they were literally making carbon fiber frames for other companies, um, big name companies. I'm not going to say anything because obviously uh, the companies don't like it and it could just be speculation, allegations, whatever the case may be. But they were known and it's known that they make frames for other big name distributors who you who are, who are present in the Western brands, who are big names. And they do a lot of distribution for their B2B websites in terms of like if I'm a giant dealer, I have access to Shimano parts for costs. So that would even go towards my dealer if you're a giant dealer, you get a lot of nice um, perks of being a dealer. You have road bike, mountain bike, fitness bikes, uh, components, stuff you can order off there on B2B that will go through your total year-end sales report to go ahead and hit your preseason number. But for giant to be down is pretty crazy. And for them to be aware of conservative buying and seeing this, I think that we're going to see a lot of aggressive price sales coming through. To go ahead and move some of that product to clear out a lot of dead inventory, maybe during Black Friday and also year end sales. That's exactly what Black Friday was meant to do. Black Friday was basically meant to go ahead and clear out a ton of dead inventory so that way these retailers can go ahead and fill up on new inventory. So definitely keep an eye out because I definitely think that in the future you're going to see a ton of sales go through um, for these bikes. So we got to figure it out. And even at my store, I've said this in my time, right now we are slamming at my business. I'm exhausted. Service is through the roof. Sales are going great. I had walk-ins with customers buying S-Works, which is amazing. Maybe it was after the election or whatever the case might be, but it's still high-end. I'm not having people walk in and looking at $4,000 bikes or $3,000 bikes. It's more than any guy walking and looking at a twelve dollars or $13,000 bike. So service is still there. The high-end bikes are still selling. The demand has definitely gone up because it's now my season. But like I mentioned before, summer was absolutely devastating it was slow it was scary uh we obviously got through it but it was a time that we uh hope that, that we hope that was our worst summer ever and we hope that we can go ahead and get onto the right track uh and hopefully all the companies that had their season during summer the more northern states uh are getting ready for a winter time as well and we're going to see a lot of these people probably put out massive sales to go ahead and compete to move inventory right now so but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about Giant being down uh, seven years. Do you think this number is going to get bigger or smaller next year? I'm really interested to see what you guys say because I have a feeling that, I know it sounds horrible, but overall as a whole and volume, I got a feeling the worst is not even to come yet. I still have a feeling there's a correction to be made. There's so much saturation and so much inventory of used bicycles. There's so much saturation of backlogged of 2023 and 2024 inventory of stores that are uh, foreclosing or sorry, stores that are going out of business because they can't pay their bills. So they have all this new inventory that's just getting flooded onto the market. You have manufacturers with old inventory that they're moving and they're giving crazy incentives to move. So... I have a feeling that you're going to see more and more companies have bigger numbers like this. So we'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I'll see you guys this weekend.